Okay, a couple more things to uh, make your buttons better. And uh, where we left off was we have uh, this um, button that's in our library. It's just this blue button. And then we have um, text on a separate layer. And we can name these layers. I'll just double click on this layer, type it text. And then this layer, layer one, I can type this buttons, okay? And you know what, though? They're all the same button. They're just uh, different instances of the button dragged out on the stage, okay? So um, to make your button even more attractive, what you can do is, since it's a button, you can select it, and you can notice down here in the property window at the bottom, you can click over to filters, and I'll click over here, and I'll go down to drop shadow, and I can add a drop shadow. Um, and let's see how that looks. I'll deselect, and you can see now that you have this drop shadow on the stage. I'm going to select the button again, and maybe I'll blur it even more, a little more blur, and maybe a little less distance. Distance maybe four, and click on the background, and that looks a little bit better. I think it needs to be even less. Distance three and that looks a little bit better. Um, strength, I could take that down to 80 percent and perfect. Okay, so I select that, I put a filter, just click on the plus sign, I chose drop shadow, blur X, blur Y8, strength 80 percent, quality low, angle 45 degrees, that's pretty good, and um, distance 3, and it looks pretty good. Okay, um, and if I wanted to, I could just do that to the other ones too. Just click there, drop shadow, and it's going to need, uh, shoot, it needs all the same um, qualities, which is a pain in the, it's a pain in the rear, but that's alright, and okay, I can do it. It's probably an easier way of doing that. I'll have to figure that out later. 8 and 80 and 3. Okay, and so now I have um, shadows on each one of my buttons. And if I wanted to, I could even take this up another notch by adding some more um, frills to how the button is reading and just adding some, some more uh, textures to the button by going into it. And notice when you double click on the button, you go into editing mode. Notice now that the other two buttons are ghosted out, and now I'm just working on this one button right here, right? And uh, the other stuff is ghosted out. Or I could go back to scene one, click right there on my breadcrumbs, back to scene one. I can go to my l library, and I can right click on the item in the library, and I can go to edit. And then I go into an editing mode, but there's no ghosting of what was on the stage, just an editing mode where I can work. And, and right there I could add some more stuff. Okay, so for the assignment I'd like you to create a button. Now you could do a button like this, just a pill shape button, or you could do um, a block button or circular button, or if you wanted to, you could, notice I'm on, you could make an a button that has um, like an apple or something like that. Notice if I hit control enter, all of them, this one, roll over it, it says apple. This one, these all highlight and they're all working buttons which I could use later. So for the assignment, um, I'm going to want you guys to create your own button and you can be creative about it. I mean you could do pretty much anything right here on this bottom layer. I could just take my paintbrush and I could pick a color and I could just do a swoosh, some type of something like that, and then select it, modify, convert to symbol or F8, choose button. This time I'll call it BTN underscore swoosh. Right, and there's my new button. 
And what I could do for this button is I could double click on it, go into editing mode, click on the next frame, right click, insert keyframe, and then just select select the image, change the color. And so now this is a button also, hit control enter, and you'll see that this one flashes like that, this one goes like that, and these highlight here. Okay, so now you guys are ready to create your own button. How are you going to do it? All right, talk to you later.